This weekend, Finsbury Park will vibrate and shake to the heavy, heavy monster sound of Camden Town's original Nutty Boys, Madness. Having documented 80s Britain with a string of hits and memorable videos, the boys decided to go their separate ways in 1987. But they've reformed for two shows and two shows only, but will this renewed interest make someone make them an offer they can't refuse? Hey, you! Don't watch that! Watch this! One step down! Is that a cynical exercise? No, I'm not, you know, I think cynical cynicism is out there, isn't it? I mean, it's boring to be cynical, you know? One step the first time I saw them was um, support in the specials at the Nashville rooms. These kind of sort of six guys came on and really sort of like took over. I mean, they had such confidence, such sort of like, you know, verve and vitality. I mean, they really looked as though they owned the place. We were quite into nostalgia even then. You know, we started out being nostalgic rather than creating something maybe that was contemporary, like, you yeah. know, or joining in on punk. So you went further back, you went back to the loop was a kind of late 60s, early 70s. It was a, yeah, it was a mix of, you know, 60s, a mix of Americana, you know, I mean, we, you know, it, uh, we were a gang before a group, really, you know, yeah. spraying the old Doc Martens, you know, wearing American bomber jackets but having crops. The nutty sound was everything that they was into at that time. Uh, you know, a bit of punk, a bit of ska, and also Ian Jury as well. And when you kind of sort of think of, sort of similar bands like in the 60s, the Kinks and the Small Faces, in the 70s, Kilburn and the High Roads and the Sex Pistols, Madness for me in the late 70s, early 80s, were the London band. I like riding in my car. It don't look much, but I've been far. It's funny that we came to be sort of identified with Camden Town. I mean, you know, we're in trivial pursuits, you know. Well, one of the questions is the seven nighted lads from Camden Town, which is sort of really similar to the Kinks and Muswell Hill and all that, and, uh -huh. or Stuart and Highgate. I bought this in Primrose Hill from a boat from Brazil. The reason we are what we are is because, you know, it's seven little loners, you know, who got together, formed a little gang and had this sort of, you know, group conscious, you know, this group interest, this group sound. And uh, when you get back together, you click, you know, we, we, you know, we don't have to hear the joke from Chrissy Boy anymore, he just tells us the punchlines. We've heard the joke 50,000 <laughs> times, you know. Try to have some fun, it's quicker if you run. This is a chemist, not a joke shop. I think with these gigs, it's definitely going to be a case of lots of new people checking them out for the first time as well. People who are probably about, you know, four or five you know, when Madness released their first record. I think the success of the compilation album and just the awareness factor, which has been so high over the past year. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of sort of like 13, 14 year olds seeing them for the first time. I mean, the cynics out there will be saying that you guys are doing this because it's a, a financial job, you know, it's a way of lining the pockets. Yeah. It's a way of making money. I'm, I'm past all that working class guilt. Why can't I explain? Why do I feel this pain? I've always been deadly serious about madness, you know. And so I think, you know, it's a nice thing to just do, you know, one event, one show, say thanks, and probably good night.